Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and today we're downtown Las Vegas. We're going to check out the iconic Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. I noticed during filming this uh, introduction that the colors were way off, and I thought my camera was going wonky. But it's actually that canopy overhead that's uh, casting weird colors here. Hey, Las Vegas, it's Jeff from New York. Turn that freaking canopy off. People think I have a cheap camera here. That's better. So the Golden Nugget is actually the first uh, post-COVID hotel and casino we're visiting here downtown. And as you can see, they've taken the same precautions that the major uh, strip hotels and casinos took. Uh, including every other slot machine either turned off or has a chair missing and a lot fewer seats around the tables. On the right here is Saltgrass Steakhouse. It's going to be opening up soon here at the Golden Nugget. Uh, they're famous for serving certified Angus beef brand steaks known for its superior quality, tenderness, and flavor. They also offer fresh seafood, chicken, barbecue baby back ribs, as well as juicy burgers, sandwiches, salads, and more. And all the breads, dressings, soups, and desserts are made from scratch every day. I always said the Golden Nugget has one of the best pool areas here on Fremont Street in the downtown area. Uh, yet to see what Circa has in line. They're going to be opening, hopefully, the end of this year, but with this whole... COVID thing going on it might be pushed back a little further but from what I understand they have big plans for their pool as well and as you can see social distancing is the rule of the day here by the golden nugget pool uh, there's only two lounges that are placed next to each other and each group of two lounges is placed very far apart the bars set up inside along the pool, overlooking the pool, don't look like they're really set up for social distancing, but again, they're not open. And as you can see, the poolside table games are closed. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout-out on an upcoming video. This is Vic and Anthony's. The original Vic and Anthony's in Houston is routinely voted one of America's 10 best steakhouses. As for Vic and Anthony's second location here in Vegas, well, they let the menu speak for itself with succulent beef, lobster, and unique appetizers. All accompanied by an eclectic wine selection and impeccable service. This is the Hand of Faith Nugget. If you're a fan of the New York Channel, and I hope you are, you've seen this at the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City as well. It's the world's largest Golden Nugget. This is the Clam Jumper. They serve up a little of everything, including burgers, sandwiches, fresh baked pot pies, specialty salads, pasta, baby back pork ribs, seafood, uh, steaks, everything. And as you can see, because of COVID, they're not serving up anything right now. And right next door is Cadillac, a Mexican restaurant, and they serve over 70 different tequilas here. Also on property is Grotto Italian Restaurant. There's a Chick-fil-A on the property, which is very popular here on uh, Fremont Street, and a place called The Grill, which is kind of like a quick hamburger joint, and of course, a Starbucks. Right now we're passing Style and Trend on the right, a men's and women's boutique. There's also the Chocolate Box, which features gourmet chocolates, as well as a store called Essentials, which is your one-stop souvenir sundry shop. This would be Grotto, the Italian restaurant I spoke about. Starbucks on the right. If you plan on visiting Vegas in the near future, check out the link below in the description. 50 things to do and tips while visiting Las Vegas. And the very new, very popular Chick-fil-A. They just opened one on the Strip as well. This is the Golden Nugget Casino post-COVID. And I keep saying post-COVID in all my videos. It's really post-closure, I guess, because COVID is pretty much alive and kicking. This is the Rush Lounge, kind of like a casino sports bar. And of course, it's closed. 
Here's the Golden Nugget Sports Book. A video poker bar. Of course, every other machine is turned off. Every casino has hand sanitizer stations, and many of them, like the Golden Nugget, also have hand washing stations. I didn't do too much gambling downtown during this trip, uh, but I did do a little bit uh, along this trip, uh, which includes a really lucky slot pull, which uh, happened at the New York, New York. Make sure you check that video out. The Golden Nugget website says there's a feeling on the casino floor that's different than anything else. The air is thick with anticipation. I was wondering what that smell was. And the sounds of people having fun. I don't hear much other than the uh, constant clanging of the slot machines. In all my trips to Vegas, I've never stayed downtown. I'm more of a strip kind of guy, and I'm loyal to some uh, hotels and casinos along the strip. But if I ever did stay downtown, I'm really liking this golden nugget. As we turn the corner here, this area opens up into some of the shops that I mentioned earlier in the video. I believe this entrance and exit leads to First Street downtown. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sure one of you viewers will correct me. You always do. And honestly, I appreciate that, and so do the other viewers. This is the Chart House restaurant. There are several throughout the country, including one in Atlantic City at the Golden Nugget there, so check that video out as well. And this little alcove leads to, I believe it's called Essentials, which is a sundry place. You place to pick up your uh, toiletries, your magazines, and candy, and snacks, and stuff like that. This stuff is a lot cheaper right outside on the street. By the way, if you haven't done it yet, check out the Community tab here on the New York channel. It's right up there at the top of your screen. Just click on Community. I do a post, I try to do a post every day just to let you know what's going on currently with the New York channel, places that I'm visiting, future videos coming out, uh, comments about videos in the past. It's a great place for uh, New York viewers and subscribers to leave their opinions and uh, suggestions on what's going on on the New York channel. Check it out. Here's that Golden Nugget pool area again. Very, very nice. I, like I said earlier, it's one of the nicest pools I've seen in the uh, downtown area. Coming up next on the New York Channel, we are going to visit the Fashion Show Mall post-COVID. It's a very popular spot among the uh, tourists here to pick up some clothing and some last-minute items. And The mall is huge. I was here about a year ago. Uh, so check that video out. It's a very popular video on the channel. However, when I visited uh, after the opening of Las Vegas just recently, it was a ghost town. I think out of all the places I visited in Vegas since it opened, the fashion show mall seems to have suffered the biggest impact of the pandemic. Outside here, there used to be lots of chairs, and this food court was always mobbed. It's a great place to come for some cheap eats on the street. You usually have to fight for a table. Uh, I pretty much had the place to myself all day long. The trip to the fashion show mall uh, post-COVID was frightening in many ways, so make sure you check that video out coming up next. And real quick here, just a lot of other things coming up here on the New York channel, including videos from the Jersey Shore. New York City. Six Flags Great Adventure Atlantic City And yes, of course, lots more from fabulous Las Vegas. You douchebag, old man. Hmm, whatever happened to Love Me Tender? I wasn't feeling the love right there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.